You in the new Barbie movie? I am. I am so in <laughs> a dream come true. Uh, a dream that I didn't know I had. That looks so fun. Yeah. yeah. I like this. OK, tell us about it. It killed the internet, by the way, yeah. just the trailer alone. Yeah, when the trailer dropped, it was it was incredible. People people were very enthusiastic about Barbie and were sharing their own memories. They were putting themselves, you know, in the poster. Um, and yeah, for me, it's just I obviously played with Barbies growing up, but never imagined that I would play one, much less be in a Barbie Wait. movie. Look at this. <laughs> My little sister used to have a, a you, do you remember My Size Barbie? Yes. Yeah, my little sister used to have one that we used to mess that Barbie up for some whatever reason. And now I'm like, oh, I get to really like play a My Size Barbie. I said it to her, like, look. What did you use as a reference for, to like prepare for, to play like a Barbie? You know, the movie was directed by Greta Gerwig and she was very much like, you know, in talking to her, she was just like, I want you to imagine how you play with Barbies, you know, and mm. to imagine or like how you, um, when you're creating Barbie characters, because that's what I would do, like what's the, what's the childhood version of your Barbie? And so she asked us like uh, costuming wise, like if, if your Barbie were president, which mine is President Barbie, what, what would she wear? And what would the childhood version of you dress her as? And so the questions were so interesting and that was my, it, it was fun to like revisit myself as a child playing with these Barbies because I couldn't, you know, my mom was always like, you're, you're gonna, you need to have um, black Barbies in the house. Like, you need to, to have that balance. Mm -hmm. But then she was also, which mind you, I couldn't watch, I couldn't watch like TV, PG-14, PG-13 movies, all those kind of things until I was the right age. And if something was adult on television, I couldn't watch it. So I could never watch 90210, but she got me 90210 Barbies. And so I was like, I don't even know who these kids, who these are. So I named them the characters myself. So I tapped into that as my Barbie character as well. My name is Phyllis and I'm from Dallas. Hi, Phyllis. I wanted to know, growing up, what was your favorite toy or stuffed animal? Ooh. Oh, chai. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Y'all remember the doll, Susie Scribbles? Don't, I knew one, yeah? What doll? Okay, Susie Scribbles. Oh, I was so excited to get old Susie. <laughs> Listen, she sat up in the desk, and then she had a pen in her hand, and she was supposed to write over everything. Okay. When I tell you I couldn't understand the damn thing that she wrote, <laughs> but I was so excited to get Susie Scribbles. Oh, Go geez. look up Susie Scribbles. Susie Scribbles was my favorite. Oh, wow. And my sister loved Cabbage Patch Dolls. <laughs> Thank you. What does this mean? You had beef with Santa Claus as a kid. <laughs> Please tell us about that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> all of what my he do? Friends, all of my friends had Easy Bake Ovens. So I put on, Aww. you know, for Santa to get me an Easy Bake Oven, but, you know, you, you didn't tell the right people who told Santa, you know? <laughs> and um, I just kept looking for it and it never came, but now I have a full oven and I don't even use it. So who knows what could have been. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That might have been a great cook if I got my Easy Bake Oven. You know, we got one more. Let's let's just bring okay. it out. Girl, your Easy Bake Oven. <laughs> a big 50th birthday. Tell me, how did yeah. you celebrate that birthday? So I just turned 50 on May 29th. <laughs> Baby. 50, this is what it looked like. Um, <laughs> which is so weird, like I, <sighs> so I had, I, I decided to do a birthday party and I was like, I don't know if there any, anyone watches Succession. Any Succession fans? <laughs> For those of you who watch Succession, so Kendall Roy had a 40th birthday party on the show this last season that was a tragedy. And after I watched that, I was like, I can't do a party, because it was just like, and then, but then, um, we have a Barbie doll. Um, the Laverne Cox Barbie came out earlier this year. I want one! And it was time to come out around my birthday. I was like, so I have to, 
Yeah. Yes. So I was like, I have to do a Barbie-themed birthday party. And yes, we have one for you. I get one? Yes. Oh my goodness. I didn't bring one for everybody, I'm sorry. Oh my God. So, yes. Ah! That's Thank life size you. Laverne. So I was like, okay, we have to do a Barbie themed birthday party and I have to have recreate this outfit. I have to design this outfit, by the way. So nice. Garo Sparrow, this amazing costume designer in New York, designed the life size version of this and I wore it to the party and it was great. We did it in New York. A bunch of my New York friends came out. A lot of my LA friends couldn't come and it was a beautiful night and just that love. That is amazing. Lots of love. Oh my God. Yeah. What better <laughs> way to celebrate than be a Barbie doll? Yes. The outfit, the fun thing about Tell the outfit about is, the outfit. is this, this bustier comes off, as you see, the bustier comes off and the skirt comes off too, and there's a cat suit, a silver Drama cat suit under there, yes. huh? You have to have a reveal. I'm like, okay, I was, because I wanted to have multiple <laughs> outfits, but they were like, uh, budget, we want to keep it affordable, but I was like, what if we have reveal? So, what was your theme music for your reveal? I know you had some serious <laughs> music. What did we have? Um, we used Barbie Girl. You used um, Barbie by Girl? By Aqua, yeah. Oh man, Girl. I wish yeah. we could see that. Okay, are uh, y'all ready for a little church today? Yes, my next guest is a five-year-old preacher who went viral when his mom captured him baptizing his toy in the bathtub. You gotta see this. I'm huh? ready. You ready? Yeah. Ready for what? The baptism. Um, get, get the baptism, but the what? Lord. Get chased. Chased and fell off the floor. And there's the wall. You sure? Me to the wall. Hallelujah, take me to the wall, oh, obedience to the command, I baptize you, then with Father, then with the Son, then with the Holy Ghost. I hear you like a little Paw Patrol. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, if if we give you a little Paw Patrol, you gonna bless them and maybe baptize them then? Maybe you'll watch them? I'm definitely gonna baptize them. Okay, well, can we bring them out? So so you can have your good old basket and then you have your Paw patrol -ness. Look behind you. Look, Look behind you. There you go. And you you got many of them to bless. Uh, Just like you blessed all of these people here today. You hear me? I'm gonna baptize him, 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 all of these. You gonna baptize them? Oh. Uh -huh. What do you say to Miss Jen, Jennifer? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you guys. Will you please come back? If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.